welcome back to Belmont Bunch. Uh, we went with no effort, Nick Miller day with the hair. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it. The Islanders win 3 0. Uh, this is a game that they, you know, it was kind of formulaic, uh, much like last night. Get two goals in the first uh, because Buffalo is not that difficult to get to. Uh, and then kind of park the bus. See it out a little bit. And I think that started earlier tonight um, because third game in four days for the Islanders. So a little bit of wear and tear, a little bit of exhaustion seeping in. You could tell at points in this game because Buffalo started to knock on the door pretty heavily. Um, and Ilya Sorokin, first career win, first career shutout. Um, he looked good. He looked very, very good. And uh, we'll... Let's go through the game and talk about how good he was. So, Isles get one early this time through Anders Lee. Uh, this is an all-around great play. Just a great rush up ice. In the neutral zone, uh, a pass to from Dobson to Bailey. Bailey on the boards getting a little bit tied up. Still makes a great little uh, you know, bumper pass uh, back to Dobson, who gets the streak into the zone. It's a two-on-two, but Oposo doesn't keep up with Lee. Lee taps it into a yawning cage, and uh, it's too easy. Uh, crisp, crisp pass from uh, Noah Dobson on that one. And, uh, yeah, Bailey's on the board again. Dobson has a great assist. Lee is catching fire, uh, and it's one nothing Islanders. And they would get one. Not a whole lot long after that. Longer after that. Could have phrased that better. Um, and that would come, again, through... J.G. Pajot with another snipe. Uh, although last night it was like too much room was given to him. And then the goalie, Olmark, kind of eh. Like indecision a little bit on how to go after the puck. Tonight it was just an absolute snipe. This time on Hutton, Carter Hutton. And this time it was the speed that created the, the chance. It wasn't as much Buffalo um, making a defensive lapse. It was more, uh, this guy has some speed. And he would show it off later in the game on a breakaway opportunity. This guy can skate. He outskated the hell out of uh, Rasmus Stalin on that breakaway chance later on. But it's 2 nothing Islanders at the break. Uh, Shots-wise, it's pretty even because um, a couple of good chances for Buffalo. Uh, Sorokin's able to shut the door. Second period, Sorokin would have a lovely 10-bell glove save. Uh, and that would be the last shot that Buffalo would have. Three in that second frame. Uh, the Isles didn't really have a ton going offensively. You could tell they were slowing down a little bit. They looked tired. Adam Pelich took uh, both our penalties tonight. Uh, he has not looked good. He has not looked good the last couple games. And uh, maybe some rest will be helpful for him. Um, and, you know, I, I think Noah Dobson is earning more ice time. And so maybe it just comes through, you know, the ice time being balanced even a little bit more. Because Dobson's has been decreasing. But Dobson's play has been pretty good, so... Either way, uh, the Isles are able to uh, fight off a, a third period challenge as well. Um, speaking of challenges, we'll get to that. A bunch of great saves from Sorokin. He makes a few absolute robberies, like in tight uh, on plays where the Isles, you know, the Isles, this was an issue throughout the night. I should have talked about it in the first period. The Isles, the only thing in the first period, you're up 2 nothing, but. There's a lot of like failed clearances and a lot of soft plays leaving the zone. Um, and it created more chances for Buffalo. They're fortunate that Buffalo was Buffalo and only got 20 shots off of that because I think a better offensive team, a faster team, uh, a more organized team probably creates a lot more than 20 shots off of the way the Islanders kind of played in their own zone tonight for stretches. So that is something that I'm sure Barry will be working on in practice with the guys but also maybe it's just a fatigue thing and there's no practice because want to avoid fatigue anyway so yeah third period islanders finally hit an empty net anders lee with 0.3 seconds left uh the man who hit the post last night on the empty net and the isles very very much uh don't have that killer instinct on empty nets they tend to pass it around everybody try to get a point and then they miss and it's like hey, you're lucky we're up two um and we were we were lucky we were up two because there was an offside on a buffalo goal that would have been another power play goal for buffalo um 
it would have been Olsen again, and we're fortunate. It was way offside. Good call by the Islanders video coach, uh, who I tried to look up the name of, and I couldn't find. Islanders, please make that easier to find. Anyway, um, yeah, Islanders power play looked pretty bad tonight um, after having, you know, a good spurt of play the last week. Um, but again, fatigue, I think, probably diluted a lot of the efforts tonight. Anyway, Sorokin was awesome. He was awesome. Um, and the Isles do a good job of earning it in the first period. They didn't look tired in the first. They had just enough of a push, uh, you know, for 20 minutes to kind of, you know, be able to sit back a little bit the last 40. But either way, Isles are technically now in second place, although, you know, Philly has games in hand. Uh, it's been a nice stretch for the Islanders. It really has. It's been fun. Feels like they've gotten back to basics a little bit. Uh, Bo was back tonight. He looks speedy. I'm glad they waited until he was 100% because it seems like he had a good jump tonight. And uh, yeah, pretty exciting stuff for the Islanders. And I think the fans are excited by the lineup for the first time in a little bit with Komarov out. No offense to Komarov. He's been actually playing pretty well. But I think uh, obviously you got to find a way to get Bo back in. Um, and Val Cole's been playing all right. Anyway, that's the video. Islanders win. Um, they now get a little bit of rest, then they'll face Pittsburgh, and then Buffalo again. So it's a winnable stretch. See if they can keep pushing towards first. Three points out behind Boston. Um, but we'll see you next time. Goodbye.